You mentioned that you've been getting positive ovulation test results for 10 days now, and you're wondering why this is happening. And it sounds like you understand a little bit about how they work and that this is abnormal. Um, ovulation tests are detecting a surge in LH hormone, which happens 36 hours before ovulation. So if a woman is testing anywhere from 12 to 36 hours before ovulation, she'll see positive results. And this is helpful for couples who have been trying to conceive for a few months and haven't had success because maybe the woman is ovulating a little bit sooner or later than the norm and this will help them to peg it down and time things just right so that um, the chances of pregnancy occurring are greater. There are a couple of different reasons why a woman might see false positives. The, the simplest explanation is that the test is read outside of the manufacturer's um, guidelines. For example, most tests say that you should read the result within five to 10 minutes. And any result that you see after that cannot be relied upon because if it sits there long enough, most tests will turn falsely positive. So if you look at it um, five to 10 minutes after you've taken the test, just throw it away after that because you might be tempted to go back and look at it and you'll see that it's positive hours or days down the road when in fact it's not. So read it within the amount of time specified by the manufacturer of the test and be sure to follow instructions exactly. This is the simplest explanation for false positives. Um, sometimes the explanation can be a little bit more complicated. For example, it can be associated with certain medical conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, premature ovarian failure, and menopause. If you have other concerning symptoms, um, I do suggest talking with your doctor and after asking you more specific questions and performing an exam, they can decide if further investigation is warranted in your situation. At this point, the best thing you can do is just wait and see if your next period starts. And if it doesn't, then that's when it's time to be suspicious of pregnancy and take a home pregnancy test. Um, if it's negative and you're not pregnant, then try again next month. And if you continue to see abnormal results or have more questions, talk with your doctor and they can give you the best advice based on their knowledge of your situation. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.